Hi, welcome to the Guitar Class video series. My name is Abel Stewart. Today we're going to talk about the basic introduction to the guitar. Uh, what are the different parts of the guitar, how to tune it, and if you don't know anything about guitar, this is the perfect place to start. So, first of all, guitar. If you're watching this, you probably knew that already. So the different parts of the guitar, it's a little bit like a person. You have your head, your neck, and your body. Right? So fairly easy to remember there. So a couple other terminology items. This part near the head where the strings uh, make a connection here, that is called the nut. The nut. The other ends, all the way opposite down here, is what we call the bridge. So the vibrating area of the strings is between the nut and the bridge. Now the way the guitar works basically, if I put my finger down and squeeze it somewhere between the two, and then strum, that alters the length of the string, that's how I get different notes. So that's the basic you know, principle of the, of the guitar. Where I put the fingers in between those two gives me different notes, just like that. Now when you're putting your fingers on the guitar, a couple things. One, you want to get it as close as you can this way to the piece of metal. Now the piece of metal we call those frets. Those are frets. So if I say, okay, I'm going to be on the first fret, that means this first metal piece right behind it, if you will, that would be the first fret. You see right there. Now I want to get as close as I can to that without crossing it, because if I cross it, it gets fuzzy and it might change notes. If I get too far back, it starts making that tight different type of noise. So again, as close as I can without crossing it that way. That's going to be your best sound when you're fingering the notes. All right? So here's how to tune the guitar. So for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm going to detune it a little bit. Lovely, right? All right, so in tuning it, my guitar has a built-in tuner, but a lot of times guitars won't. You can buy an electronic tuner, which is a lot of times your best option. They usually run 20 to $30. They're pretty economical. That will help you a lot. What you're gonna need to know is the names of the strings and a little bit of basics on how to use the tuner. So when I get my string that's closest to me. Now we call that the lowest string because it's talking about pitch, not in terms of uh, arrangement. You know, it's physically, this would be the lowest, but it's the highest pitch. So if I say lowest, I'm talking that way, closer to me, if that makes sense. All right, so the lowest string on the guitar is gonna be called an E. So on your tuner, as you're tuning it up, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's showing an E on there. And most tuners, you're going to have some sort of middle area. If it's too flat, like too low in pitch, it'll be on one side, usually the left. If it's too high or too sharp, it'll usually be on the right side. If you can get the string to put that needle or electronic light or whatever it is right in the middle, that's going to give you the right uh, indication of pitch. A lot of times, in a lot of electronic tuners, your left and right things will have red lights. When it gets right in the middle, it'll turn green. That'll let you know that it's the right pitch. So if you use an electronic tuner, that's how you can do that. So I'm going to tune these up gradually. All right. So one way is if you have a built-in tuner, an electronic tuner, you can just find that pitch right directly. There is an alternate method. So if I get one string tuned right, what I can do is find, use that string as a reference point for the others. So I go to the one, two, three, four, fifth fret on, the, on this string anyway. You hear how that sounds pretty different, right? Not real pleasant. So what we're going to do is try to make it sound right. Getting a little closer. Here's a little, those are things you want to get rid of. So, when you get it nicely matched up, it sounds nice and smooth. 
All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Now this is the A string. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, fifth fret. Ooh. Yeah, I did detune that, didn't I? So same thing here. Now, if you go too far, so let's say, oh, I went too hard, far. Instead of just light lowering it, what you want to do, scoop down below and bring it back up, up into pitch. The reason for that is if you do that, the string will hold its tuning a lot better. If you just lower it in, it'll slip a little bit out of that, and before too long, you're going to have to tune it again. So. It'll hold the pitch a lot better if you tune up into it. All right. So again, I'm going to go fifth fret. All right. Now, always make sure you're really careful to check which string you're tuning. Because if you're turning the wrong one, it's not changing, then suddenly, pop, you've over-tensioned one of the other strings, and you didn't realize it because you're checking the wrong one. Definitely make sure you're both moving and checking the right string to make sure that you don't over tighten one of the other ones. Getting there. Now, so you notice I got one, the E, A, D, G here. Now, on the G string, I'm not going to go to the fifth fret because that's one of the funny things between that, the G string and the B string. It is tuned a little bit differently than the others. Don't let that throw you. So if you're doing this method of checking them string by string, not all of them are on the fifth fret. The G string, you're going to go the fourth fret. Remember that. So again, two, fourth. Ooh. Do that for now. And then one more, the last one, the on the B string, you do go the fifth fret. Double check it with an electronic tuner, make, turn, make sure I got it right. Yeah. I see my reference string is probably a little on the low side, and that said I'm all a little low, that's okay. So the lesson in that is make sure your reference pitch is the right, is tuned well in the first place. And all said and done. So again, just a quick review. So remember, the guitar, head, neck, body. Metal things are called frets. Frets. You want to get your string as close to the fret as you can this way without crossing it. So again, if you get that buzzing sound, just double check and make sure you're just right behind the fret this way. Okay, and then the tuning, again, electronic tuner. The idea is try to get it right in the middle between your left and your right, or whatever format the electronic tuner you have has. That. So, there you go. That should be enough to get you started. Next lesson, we will talk about some beginning chords and get you started on your first song.